amazing science tricks that you can do at home. Think about your card. <gasps> Forced out of the top. It creates a magic lava lamp. The coin begins to shiver and shake. Perfect example of how science is magic. That is cool. It just sucks right through the mouth of the bottle. Down Dude. Is. One of the ice cubes completely melt. Very science. And create a giant bubble. It's erupting. Wait. Welcome to Science is Magic. I am your host, Evan Arrow. This is the series premiere of Science is Magic. Over the years, you've seen me do amazing magic tricks on how to magic. Well, now we have a series that is completely devoted to science tricks. It's science. So be sure to subscribe to our channel if you want to learn some amazing science experiments and tricks that you can do at home. Without further ado, let's get into the first episode, the series premiere of Science is Magic. <laughs> Okay, Tom and I have a really cool science trick here. Tom's got a flask. <laughs> and I've got a balloon. Oh, magic. We are going to start off by putting the flask on the table. So now we're gonna take some of our magic green liquid and we're just going to pour it into the flask just like this and fill it all the way up. And we're just gonna let the green liquid sit inside the flask for just a couple moments. I'm going to take the magic green liquid and pour it out. Now watch, I'm going to take the balloon and put it right on top of the flask. Now watch what happens. The balloon sucks down Dude. inside the bottle. Very cool. You guys want to learn how it's done? I'll teach you right now. You're going to need an Erlenmeyer flask or any glass bottle will work for this. And the magic green liquid that you're pouring in is actually boiling hot water. So if you're a kid, you're obviously going to need an adult's help with this. Fill it all the way to the top with your hot boiling water and you're going to let this sit for about five minutes. Here's an important tip. Make sure you're wearing a glove or using tongs to pick up this glass container because it will be very hot. Pour the hot water out of the container after five minutes. You're then going to take your balloon and stretch it over the top of the container. Now that you have the balloon over top of the container, all you do is wait. The hot air inside the container will begin to condense as it cools. You can see a really cool visualization of the molecules shrinking inside. And as those molecules condense, it will create this really amazing magical looking effect of the balloon just inverting and sucking down inside the bottle. You can see it's about to happen. You can see all the air starting to get sucked out of the latex right as here. As that vacuum is created, it's gonna pull that latex of the balloon down through the nozzle of the flask or the bottle until the balloon just turns completely inside out. You can see it just sucks right through the mouth of the bottle like that, and now the balloon will begin to invert inside the bottle and blow up in reverse. So grab a balloon and a bottle. Try this one out at home. This is one of the most magical substances known to man. This is dry ice. This is actually frozen carbon dioxide. The fog that you see coming off of these pieces is actually carbon dioxide gas. It's changing from a solid to a gaseous state. Now watch what happens when I put a piece of dry ice in this hot water. <laughs> That's so cool. So the hot water causes the dry ice to change forms even quicker. You can see the piece of dry ice down in the hot water just bubbling so much and you can see the CO2 vapor coming out of the top of this Erlenmeyer flask. Very science. Obviously you don't want to handle dry ice with your bare hands so make sure you use a glove if you play with this stuff at home. There are endless tricks that you can do with dry ice if you grab the top of the flask like this and add a little bubble solution and create a giant bubble on top of the flask. Just like that is so cool. Let's get that in slow motion. So as the dry ice bubbles pop, they form this giant bubble on top of the flask just like this until, wait for it, if you're wondering where you can get dry ice so that you can do these experiments at home, you can pick it up at any local grocery store that carries dry ice. Not all of them carry it. Kroger is a good bet if you live on the east coast of the United States. It's in like a cooler up at the front of the store. Another cool dry ice trick, you can take any coin. Listen. 
and the coin begins to scream in the dry ice. Now watch this. The coin begins to shiver and shake as if it's freezing cold. This happens naturally just because of the properties of the dry ice being so cold and the heat difference in the metal of the coin. When you set it in that slot that is just created by the dry ice, it will begin to shiver and shake as the metal begins to cool down. Look at that, that's so cool. Dangerous experiment time. We've got a test tube here. We've filled it with some hot water and we're going to take a small piece of dry ice, put it inside the test tube and then put the stopper back in the top of the test tube like this and hopefully the stopper will shoot out of the test tube because of the buildup of the pressure. pressure and hopefully the glass test tube does not explode and the stopper just shoots out so here we go we're gonna put our piece of dry ice down inside now bubbling violently all right here we go ready oh i can't even get it in there without it blowing it back out let's let it die down a second and then we'll try it wait for it <laughs> so as the pressure builds up, the stopper is forced out of the top just like that. Okay, check this out. I'm going to drop these in this water bottle just like this. Now I'm going to cap it off and put it right down in this cup. Now watch what happens. bottle of water, a cup, and some Alka-Seltzer tablet. These are actually sodium bicarbonate tablets. Similar to the way the dry ice is turning into a gas, this is a solid turning into a gas as well. You wanna pour out about half of the water in the bottle. Take about four or five Alka-Seltzer tablets, put them in the bottle, put the cap on the bottle, and then invert it inside a cup. The pressure will build up inside the bottle until the cap comes off, and the gas that escapes through the nozzle of the bottle will force the bottle upward like a rocket. Look how the stream of water comes out of the nozzle of the bottle. It looks like a straight line in the air. That is so amazing. Once again, a perfect example of how science is magic. Two cubes of ice on two identical trays. Watch this. One of the ice cubes completely melts while the other one remains frozen solid. The reason this is happening is because these blocks are made out of two different materials. They look almost identical, but this one is made out of aluminum, and this one is made out of a foam plastic. Aluminum is one of the best conductors of heat. So when the ice cube is on the tray, it is conducting the heat of the room temperature around it and melting the ice much faster than the foam block is. Because the aluminum block is such a good conductor of heat, when you touch it, it feels cold. And when you touch the other block, the foam plastic one, it actually feels warm, even though they're actually both the exact same temperature. Okay, V, I have a really cool card trick. It's a okay. science magic Ew. trick. So check this out. Choose a card from the deck, okay? Okay. Any one you want. Perfect. Show it to the camera. Perfect. Okay. Put it back in the deck anywhere you want. Make sure you remember the card, all right? Yeah. Cool, I've got the card now lost in the deck. Gonna put this in my pocket. I'm actually going to take your water here. Yeah. Okay, watch. We're going to pour this out on no. the ground. Think about your card. So this is actually hydrophobic art. So look, okay. on the ground right here, you can see there's nothing on the ground, right? No. Watch, if I pour water. <gasps> oh, left is left. It's awesome. You can see the LAL -L appear on the ground just like that. That's amazing. How does that work? Science. So I'll, I'll teach you <laughs> the science behind this magic right now. Here is the secret to creating art that appears every time it rains. This is called the Rainworks Invisible Spray Street Art Kit. Comes with everything you need to create these amazing pieces of artwork that appear every time it rains. This is your invisible spray. You're going to create a stencil and lay it out on the concrete or the asphalt where you want to create your art. This is actually a super hydrophobic coating. The word hydrophobic broken down means fear of water, so this actually repels water. When the surface of the 
concrete gets wet, it gets dark. But this special magic spray makes it to where whatever you spray it on doesn't get wet. Make sure it's a flat concrete surface. Take some excess pieces of cardboard and lay them on the outside so that you don't get any overspray. Now we're going to put a very light coating of the hydrophobic spray on the concrete. I'll let this dry for about five to 10 minutes and then we're gonna add another coat. Now that it's dried, we're gonna put a very light second coat. Now that this is dried, we're gonna lift the stencil off carefully and then it's ready to go. If you spray it with a hose, if it rains, your artwork will magically appear. So you can use this for a card reveal, for a magic trick. You can use it to reveal someone's name or just to make really cool artwork that appears every time it rains. Okay, B, I have a cool trick to show you with this little metal coin. I see. see? Watch, I'm gonna sit it coin. down on the table, okay? Okay. Well, watch the coin. <laughs> Not gonna touch it. I don't it. like this. Watch. See this? What? Right? Look. Wait. <laughs> magically flips itself. Okay, here's how this thing works. It's actually really simple. It's a scientific explanation. So this is a little metal disc and it's actually made up of two different layers. It actually pops back and forth like this. But once you pop it one way and it stays on the palm of your hand, the heat of your hand actually stops it from popping back the other way. What? As it cools off, is when it will pop. So once the metal- we had to sit there for a Yeah, second. once it reaches a certain temperature, then it will pop. It pops. Yep, just like that. So cool. this actually works the same way as a thermostat in a house does. So as the two pieces of metal inside, they change temperatures, yeah. it like triggers the they thermostat come to come oh, back on. Cool. Yeah, so this is really cool. Popping disc and it kind of looks like a coin that flips itself and then they- ah. Science is cool. Okay, Ava, I have a really cool science trick to show you. Have you ever seen a lava lamp? Yes. All right, so this is a homemade lava lamp. We have some oil, some cooking oil here. You guys follow along at home and you can do this really cool science trick at home in your kitchen. Glass and you're gonna fill it with some cooking oil, just like this. You wanna fill it about three quarters of the way up. That's good, right about there. All right, now the other thing you're going to need is some food coloring, just like this, some food dye. You're going to need some water in a separate cup. So we're going to take the food dye and we're going to put a couple drops in the water. Ava, you wanna do the honors here? Just into the water, just there, a couple drops, perfect. So now we've got our blue liquid mixed up, our blue water here, and we've got our cup of oil. So now we're going to take a couple Alka-Seltzer tablets. Alka-Seltzer, yeah, you know what Alka-Seltzer is? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna take some of our blue water and we're actually gonna slow pour it into the oil and it's gonna sink down to the bottom just like that. You can see it. Looks like an awesome. Yeah, isn't that cool? And it's actually going to sink to the bottom and the oil is gonna float right on top of the water just like that. The water is heavier and more dense than the oil. We take a couple of these Alka-Seltzer tablets like this. So here, you take this one, take this one, drop it in at the same time. Okay, one, two, three. Now watch what happens. As the Alka-Seltzer begins to bubble, it creates a magic lava lamp like this. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Isn't that really neat? Mm -hmm. Alka-Seltzer creates sodium bicarbonate bubbles. And as those bubbles rise up, the water is carried with it up through the oil. And then as the bubbles pop, that water falls back down because it's heavier and more dense than the oil. We learned about this inside. Yeah. Now you're learning about it on Science is Magic. Grab some Alka-Seltzer, some oil, and try this one out at home. All right, David, check this out. I've got my little tabletop volcano down here. Isn't it cute? Magic clear liquid right here. Looks like water, Wait, watch. Wait, is it gonna explode, Dad? No, it's not gonna explode. Watch, it's actually going to erupt. Watch that's hot. You might get burned by the molten lava. It's not hot. But lava from a real volcano is hot. It's erupting. And we're gonna show you how to make this little tabletop volcano at home right now. So cool. No. Here is what you need to make a tabletop volcano. This is a little model of a volcano. This is a tiny little plastic volcano. You're going to need some baking soda. Baking soda, not baking powder. And some vinegar. And you can also add a little bit of red food coloring to the mix if you want to make it look more like lava. Liquid hot magma. The little volcano has a chamber inside. Fill this little middle chamber with some baking soda. And then the top 
fits back on just like this. Add a couple drops of food coloring. And now you're going to add a little bit of white distilled vinegar into the top opening of the volcano. The vinegar, which is an acid, will mix with the baking soda, which is a base. This will cause a chemical reaction. And that is what creates the magical effect of the volcano erupting. And that is a scientific fact. Uh -huh. All right, that is a wrap on the first ever episode of Science is Magic. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up button on this video and be sure to share it with someone who you think might like it too. If you think we should do an episode two of Science is Magic, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you're new here. It's free to subscribe and you get new magic videos like this every single week. Until next time, remember that anything is possible as long as you stay positive, work hard, and laugh at life. Love you guys.